and welcome to our first episode of Jordan Uncorked in 2019. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. I'm Maggie Cruz. And I'm John Duckett. And we thought we'd have some fun today. For those of you who are touring 21 in 2019, we thought we'd taste your vintage. So we pulled out the 1998 Jordan Cabernet Sauvignon. Does that make you feel old, 1998? A little bit. 221. Little bit. <laughs> yep, yep. That was a fun year. So 1998, fun year. This was the year that Google was invented and started. Mm -hmm. uh, Bill Clinton, Monica Lewinsky, 98. Quite the scandal. We also lost the beloved Frank Sinatra mm, in 1998. Yeah. Um, and also the first Harry Potter book came out. So uh, yeah, 98, yeah. a lot happened. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, it was kind of a rough spring for wine though. There was a lot going on in the world. Wet, so. cold. But uh, what we did was we were able to kind of scale back and it was much smaller vintage, but uh, to, in terms of quality, we were able to cut back a lot of fruit and just leave a really beautiful clusters out there. From what I read, really long spring, delayed spring, um, which led to uh, a lack of uniformity, I would imagine. Mm -hmm. um, you want a fairly uniform spring so that you can uh, set your fruit and then have a uniform crop throughout the year. And that's something that didn't happen in 98. So a little more thinning in the vineyard. Yeah. And definitely a late harvest as well. We're going mm -hmm. well into October and mm -hmm. There's still some fruit there. I'm getting more, a little more of that aged character though. I think uh, maybe more like a, let's say like dried cherry or something in that respect. Yeah, more of your dried yeah. characters, dried cherry. Um, not too much of the tea characters, but mm -hmm. I'm getting a little bit more of the cedar kind of mm -hmm. oak profile. This is also in 98, a combination of French and American. So I'm getting a little bit more of that American oak coming out. Yeah. Palette wise, um, tannins are nice. It's uh, pretty well integrated. Um, still strong acidity. Get some more fruit on the palate. Yeah, and that oak profile is still really right mm -hmm. in there, which will help it with food pairing. It'll hold up to a Agreed. little bit heavier of a, mm -hmm. of a mm -hmm. meat. Or some roasted veggies. Mm -hmm. Gotta love those. Yeah, it is January. You gotta watch it. It is diet. January. After all those cookies and cake. Mm. <laughs> so if you want to get your hands on this bottle, 750, you can't. Uh, we don't have any 750s. But for those of you turning 21 or want a big celebration, we do have three liters and six liters available for the 98. So uh, contact us. We've got them if you want them. I bet they'd be great in a Probably large format. Probably be very good. Yeah. yeah. Large formats are always fun. They age much differently than a 750. So what we're saying here would be a lot, probably a lot fresher um, compared to the 750. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested. Overall, tasting pretty good for a- uh, Definitely. A 98, mm -hmm. yeah. I wouldn't give it too much longer. Maybe no. another five years, something like that. Yeah, probably Especially max, if you like I would that say. kind of yeah, age yeah. characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you like a really aged wine, go ahead and go for it. But yeah, I would say it's kind of getting to the point of uh, opening yeah. it up. Yeah. Drink now. Drink now. Years. Drink now. All right. Well, thanks for joining us on our first 2019 episode of Jordan Uncorked. As usual, uh, thumbs up, like us, uh, comments, help us out with what to taste next. And we'll see you on the next episode in February. Cheers. Cheers.